Alright, this one's called Siboney Shell Company back on the market. Pinsack, the majority owner of Siboney Group Limited, is making another try to add selling stake in the company, which has no assets. Siboney said in a market filing last week that attempts by Pinsack to sell were aborted after bid for the shares failed to result in a deal, but noted that another invitation to buyers bid for the company was pending. Siboney was traded at 11 cents per share on Monday, filing the company at $60.06 million. A million dollars. Pinsack's 72% is worth approximately 43 million. At the first invitation in 2018, Pinsack touted Sibony's position as a listed company as a drawing card for potential buyers. On Monday, Errol Campbell, who is manager of Pinsack and chairman of Sibony, declined to discuss the latest push to offload the shell company. Second offer was ad advertised on Sunday, August 4, beginning this month. Quote unquote, should this be successful? Su should this be successful? Then it is anticipated that a change, a change of ownership would be affected during the second quarter of the financial year. The notice read, Sibonis financial year ends in, ends in May. All right. uh, I don't know if they meant to say near May next year or passing May this year. Uh, which suggested the FinSex is home for a deal to emerge by November. Yeah, okay, next year in 2020. Assuming that the shares are taken out by a single buyer, the new owner will be required under stock market rules to make a bid for all minority shares. It explains efforts in the market on Monday to acquire the stock at prices as low as 1% and it was a sign that the market ex expects FinSight to eventually strike a deal. Sibonis' only asset line in Culloden in Westmoreland was sold to a company called Green Forest Limited for $250 million in two December 2017. The proceeds were used to reduce Sibonis' debt and pay a dividend to shareholders. Its only holdings at last report in May were cash of less than $8, $8 million, a figure that remains subject to audit. All right, in the article. All right, so, so it's good to I'm familiar with Sibony a little bit. I think I might have done some recordings on them. All right, so we have to see what turned out now. What I'm wondering is, are they if they sell they sell the company, is it going to go towards a Jamaican uh, buyer, or are they going to do the usual bullshit where they sell it to some foreigners who who, who most likely are not really going to have the benef interest of the people at heart? So. I won't hope that they find a Jamaican buyer who generally has interest of the country and can use it as a national asset. But then again, chances are they'll probably sell it off to some foreigners, whether it's in wherever. And it's, it's going to be the same old because we have a habit of doing that bullshit and really hate that. But we have to see how this bears out. So we'll see how this turns out. And this will go into State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Goosen Perrin, Miles Productions. All right.